is what happens when you like quotes too much. Look at all <laughs> this mess. <laughs> Welcome to my closet clean out. Good morning, everybody. It is September, what is today? September 20th. It is Thursday, September 20th, and that means that the first day of autumn is officially in like less than 48 hours. I have my little coffee. If you guys saw my Halloween slash fall decorate with me and haul, I bought this mug at Marshall's. I've actually had quite a few questions about it. So if you guys are looking for this one, it's at Marshall's. It has like a mint inside. They also have it in orange. Just having me a little bit of coffee, got ready for the day. I played around with some makeup because I'm actually planning on filming my annual kind of fall makeup routine next week. So be sure to look forward for that. Today I am basically going to be sorting out this wardrobe. <laughs> Let me put you down really quick so I can like just chat with you. Before we get into the video, I wanted to thank everybody because as you're watching this, I've officially hit 6,000 subscribers. Thank you so, so, so much. I'm like, beyond excited and super grateful for you guys. And as always, I do a giveaway. I've actually already laid it out here so that you guys can see. So the way my giveaways always work is that I will announce on my YouTube channel that I'm doing a giveaway, but the actual giveaway will take place on my Instagram. So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you do because you have to be subscribed to this channel like this video and be following me on Instagram to automatically be enrolled into the giveaway. And this giveaway is very, very special. I decided to get a little bit creative with it. Um, I wanted to do something a little bit different. All um, rules listed for the giveaway will be listed on my Instagram. So I will leave a link down below for you guys too. But this is the giveaway. Ta-da! Oh, so exciting. Let's do the slow panning shot really quick. This is called my Fall Essentials Giveaway. I'm so happy with it and how everything came out. So the first thing that you're gonna get in this giveaway is th this Morphe palette. This is the Morphe Nature Glow palette. And the reason I chose it is because, like the colors on my eyeballs right now, <laughs> they have a lot of very like fall-ish colors. I think that they're perfect for this time of year. So that is why I chose this specific palette. It is a beautiful palette and Morphe makeup is amazing. With that, you are also going to get this ColourPop Got A Minute Lippy Stick Bundle. So as you can see, um, they have these colors here. I actually own every single one of these colors. They're amazing and they're beautiful and this would be perfect with the Morphe palette. Pumpkin Spice, this is just, an absolute essential for me. So I got you guys a Starbucks Via Latte Pumpkin Spice Latte. These come with five little packets so you can make yourself some pumpkin spice at home. Two cute little Halloween socks. So you have one with a jack-o'-lantern and then one with some little ghosts. And then also in the giveaway are these two little baskets. I actually have these here. And I showed them recently in my video. I've had these for a couple of years now. I've used them for pencils, makeup brushes, and right now I'm using them to put like scented pine cones in there and then like some little decorations. So that is those. So yeah, I decided to get one, one orange and one black and then you can use them for whatever you like. You're also gonna get a set of these super cute pumpkins and they have little gold like stems on them. I think that they're adorable. A mug that says motivation in a mug. I think this is super cute. The colors just complement the entire set. Very cozy and perfect for fall. And you can use your mug with your pumpkin spice latte. And then lastly, you're gonna get a candle. I actually own this candle as well. I was burning it this past week in my kitchen and I just loved it so, so much. So I saw another one and I was like, ooh, let's get another one for this giveaway. This is the white pumpkin candle. It smells delicious. And yeah, that is everything in the giveaway. And I'm super, super excited to do this for you guys. So thank you guys again so much for 6,000 subscribers. 
Um, as always, every time I hit another thousand, I do another giveaway, so subscribe if you aren't already. Okay, back to the closet. I have already started this morning kind of pushing to the side all the clothes that I'm not gonna be using anymore. So all of my summer clothes are pushed to one side. All the clothes that I think I can still use September, October, November, I have pushed to the other side. And then there's this. All of these bins and bags full of my clothes. A lot of this has already been cleaned before putting it back into the bin. So a lot of it is fine. It looks like a lot, but really guys, it's because fall and winter clothes are really chunky and heavy. Oh, and look, these are like coats and stuff back here. So that's the reason why I have such massive bins. But realistically, for all my summer clothes, they'll probably all fit in this little bin and that's it. So as always, um, whenever I clear my clothes for a specific season, rule number one, take it out. Just take it all out if you can. I also like to give my closet like a thorough clean. So it's really nice to just take everything out first. You know, get some cleaning supplies out, wipe off all the shelves. This also gives you like a good visual of where you might wanna put new stuff or if you wanna switch things around. Um, so yeah, that is what we're gonna do. typically have my closet is the bottoms are tops the tops the top section is sweaters and then the corner all the way over there is like long dresses long skirts jumpsuits rompers things like that guys I couldn't resist and I got us these Beyonce shirts this week <laughs> I love these so much I think they're beautiful <laughs> For sure that this pile is like my summer stuff um what i'm gonna do is completely take these out of the room i want them out of the room so that they don't get mixed in with anything else and that way i have more space for all of my other things and i'll sort through these after i'm done okay so that is my mess of shoes some of these i'm actually most likely gonna donate or resell and there'll be some obviously that will be kept but i don't need all these shoes this is the empty room so far these are jeans pants and skirts and then like accessories hats handbags this will all be cleared out in just a moment i love this hat okay closet is empty i will show you guys i just have a few bits up there but i'll clear that out in just a moment those are all just like heels but this side is empty now all these are empty and then my two wall racks are empty as well. Now I have to deal with this freaking mess, that freaking mess, undies mess. So the first thing I like to do after clearing everything out is go through it one more time. Now I just went through this pile and in my head I was like, yes, I'm gonna keep all of this. But realistically, I'm probably not gonna wear more than half of these things. And I'm gonna create three different piles. The first pile is obviously going to be my keep pile. The second pile is going to be a resell pile because I do a lot of reselling. And then the third pile is going to be a donation pile. I typically do take care of a lot of my clothes. So unless I find a hole here or there, I'll then throw those out. And if it is something that I plan on keeping, I'll just hang it back up in my closet. And for some reason I do this every single time. I cannot help myself. I also like to color coordinate as I put the things back in my closet. So I will be doing that again today. First thing I'm gonna go through are obviously my pants. So these are the trousers I'm keeping from my pile. Now, unlike my blue jean pile, which is notorious for taking up all of my shelves, I don't really have that many like black jeans or colored jeans. This is really just my colored jean pile. So these are gonna go right next to the trousers. Now I wanna go through all of my pants. 
and see which ones I'm gonna be keeping for the season. So pants and jeans that are out still, haven't gone through the bins yet, are officially done. I also have these group of trousers that I haven't even worn yet that I recently purchased, all from ASOS. So I'm gonna put these guys on the side hanging. Skirts. And now I'm gonna start by color coordinating all of my tops that I currently think I might keep. Um, and if there's one that I don't think I'm gonna wear, I'm just gonna toss it in the donate or sell pile. So I start off with the lightest colors and then I work my way down almost like a box of crayons. So these are my tops so far. As you can see, I have whites, tans, greens, blues, reds, oranges, yellows, grays, and then black. And now I'm gonna do the exact same thing to the sweaters. I've gotten everything that was already in my closet in here and yeah this is it so far so the bed is nice and clear I got my little piles here and Pina is obviously sleeping on one of them so cute I feel like a lot of the things in here are coats and some like pants and scarves I want to go through these bins first Again, I'm gonna go through these, see if I'm gonna keep any of them. Whatever I'm not, I'm gonna put it in the donate pile. So not bad um, from all the tops that were in that massive bin I only kept five of them and then I kept a couple of sweaters so five is good I actually got rid of a lot of tops and then from that bin I also only kept 12 sweaters but these are amazing I wore the crap out of them last year so I know I'm gonna wear them again is finished which I am so so excited about the only thing I have to put in there are these little boxes and my hats I'll put those in just a moment this box is like more wintry hats um, like beanies and berets and things like that and then in this box we have belts and one of my Louis Vuitton dusters uh, but yeah this is just like belts then I just have some of my hats um, that obviously don't in here but the closet is basically done so I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown of everything that is 
in the closet now. On the top section, I have all of my sweaters. So heavy sweaters, cardigans, chunky knits, anything like that is gonna be in this section here. And of course, as you can see, it's pretty much color coordinated. So I am very, very happy with those. On the bottom are all of my tops. So anything from a basic tee, a blouse, a long sleeve knit shirt, those are all gonna be in this section here. Also color coordinated. This is the bookshelf area. This is where all of those hats are gonna go in the boxes. So we have handbags on top. A couple of more of my expensive handbags right here. So these are like designer bags. Skirts, dark wash, light wash, and leggings. I know you can't see it, but this little group right here are all of my leggings. And I do separate my light and dark wash jeans. It just makes it so much easier to decide which pair I want to wear. So I always separate light and dark. These are all of my pants and trousers. So we have black pants, gray pants, any kind of skinny jean or corduroy pants here. And then in this section are all of my trousers. And then in here we have black boots beige boots and tan boots and then cut out open toe boots and then down here are all of my sneakers i believe i have five pair of sneakers and then one pair of black flats in this little corner right here i have some hunter boots so i have short beige ones and then my tall black ones and then underneath my tops on the opposite side i have some more boots these are just like the boots that are either suede or just a little bit more expensive so i want to take care of them and keep them in there and then i have my gym shoes for the gym there on this side where my makeup vanity is i have scarves on these two little um layered hangers um so i believe i have three or four on this side and i have four on this side and then the rest are just like really tall sweaters jumpsuits um this is a onesie a christmas onesie um some sets like if it was like a, a sweater a skirt set that came together overalls and then trousers that i haven't worn yet and that is it ladies and gents if you're watching Now that the closet is done, all that is left to do is put this mess away. Yay! <laughs> but I'm not going to bored you with that. Before I end the video, make sure that you enter the giveaway once again. I now have to pack all of this up because these are things that I'm either going to sell or donate. So yeah, that's a lot. I got rid of a lot today. The sun is officially setting, so I'm going to end the video here. It has been a very long, long time. Afternoon. <laughs> Thank you guys again so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you're not subscribed, subscribe and click that notification bell so you guys know every single time I upload, I upload every single week. If you did enjoy this video, I will leave my other two closet cleanup videos right here next to me so that you guys can go on over and check those out. Thank you once again so much for 6,000. Make sure to head on over to my Instagram to enter the giveaway and I will catch you guys again very, very soon. Bye!